Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome back, uh, this is lecture number 54, so we will continue uh, uh, discussing exact differential equations and in particular we will be talking about today when the given differential equation is not exact, but it can easily be made exact and that is the uh, introduction of this integrating factor uh, will come into the picture. So here just to recall that. Uh, uh, we have the necessary and sufficient conditions for the exactness. So, the necessary and sufficient condition for the differential equation to be exact uh, is m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 that was the differential equation and this is exact when del m over del y equal to del n over del x and this was necessary and sufficient meaning that if this condition holds then uh, the differential equation must be exact and if the equation is exact then this condition must hold. So, now what to be done when the given equation is not exact. So, for instance, so if an equation of this form m dx and dy is not exact, it is sometimes possible to choose a function here x or function of x and y such that after multiplying all the terms of the equation. So, after multiplying this given equation by that function. Uh, the equations become the equation becomes exact and uh, such a multiplier here is called the integrating factor. So, integrating factor is nothing but a function of x y uh, after multiplication to the given differential equation the given differential equation becomes exact then such a function is called the integrating factor. So, this i x y with the usually the notation we will use for this integrating factor. So, if this is an integrating factor then the differential equation here i x y times this m x y d x plus i x y n x y d y is equal to 0 becomes exact and what is the advantage now. So, uh, the given equation is not exact and then it is difficult to find the solution here. So, what we will do now we will find the integrating factor and once we multiply this integrating factor to the given differential equation then this equation will become exact and then we know how to solve uh, the exact differential equation we need to find the uh, function f whose differential is uh, here this left hand side of the given differential equation. So, here the main uh, topic of this lecture is uh, we will discuss some techniques here how to find integrating factor when a given differential equation is not exact differential equation. So, although an equation this of the form m dx plus n dy uh, always has a integrating factor or factors there could be more factor uh, integrating factors. But there is no uh, general rule for finding them or rather it is a little bit tedious job to find this uh, integrating factor. It is not in general easy to find the integrating factor of the given differential equation. So, we will consider only some special cases where we can find the integrating factor easily. So, the, the, the rule number one is, is just the by inspection. So, this is uh, the, the most easiest one and also the most of us. Uh, approach to find the uh, this uh, integrating factor because uh, it is it is just the uh, the the guess here looking at the differential equation that okay uh, the equation is given in this form and if you multiply by this function then this will become exact but this is also difficult because it's not a systematic approach to find the uh, uh, integrating factor. So, this method is based on the recognition of the some standard exact differential. So, if we know uh, some standard uh, differentials here then looking at the differential equation also we can 
I find that if we uh, rewrite this equation in this form or we multiply or divide by this function. So, we will get exactly the differential uh, of those standard functions and this is what we, we uh, approach by solving the I mean for solving the differential equation in this approach. So, here what is uh, what are those stand or some of the standard forms rather we will discuss here and there could be many more which uh, uh, are maybe non standard, but uh, can help if we know uh, them uh, that whose differential is exactly this term. For instance, here y d x plus x d y if we have this term y d x plus x d y then this is nothing but the differential of x y and, and we can verify easily. So, the differential of this x y is, is again as per the definition. So, del over del x of the function d x and plus this del over del y of this given function and d y. So, here the partial derivative of uh, x y with respect to x will be y d x and plus here will be x d y. So, if we see uh, some such a term in the differential equation or by rewriting the differential equation if we can uh, see that there is a term y d x plus x d y then we know already that this is the differential of x y term. So, that could be uh, useful uh, to, to, to re remember that the differential of this x y is nothing but y d x plus x d y. Another uh, standard form could be the differential of this y over x. So, again by using the formula which we have just used we will realize that the differential here of this y over x is nothing but x d y minus y d x over x square and this uh, just to again the approach is same that we take the derivative with respect to x of this function y over x and then this d x plus this partial derivative of uh, of the function y over x with respect to y and then the d y. So, here with respect to x we will get minus y over x square uh, d x and here we will get with respect to y only this 1 over x and d y and this is exactly the given differential equation uh, given uh, uh, expression there. So, we have x square. So, here x d y and then the minus d uh, y d x. So, if this term such term appears or just by dividing for instance by x square we do see such a term in the differential equation. So, it will immediately click uh, to us that uh, this is the differential of uh, the y over x and then we can uh, again uh, proceed easily for the integration. So, this is one of the standard uh, differential uh, which we can uh, use uh, uh, in, in guessing the, the differential equation. So, here or this can be also like x over y instead of y over x. So, the formula will be just y d x minus x d y over uh, y square. There is another standard form uh, differential here. So, instead of this x d y minus y d x. So, here this x square or here y square, but instead of this x square and y square for example, this x y is given. So, here again the same uh, expression x d y minus y d x over x y. So, for this one this is the differential of the logarithmic of y over x which we can again prove like we have done uh, for this case just using the definition of the differential getting the partial derivative of this with respect to x partial derivative of uh, uh, ln y over x with respect to y we can get uh, this expression here or uh, the uh, differential of the logarithmic x over y uh, as well we can discuss. So, here this will be uh, similar to what we had here for x over y. So, y d x minus x y and again this x y here. So, they uh, both look uh, almost the same, but the difference is here it is x y and their x square and here y square, but here we have the x y. So, once we see such terms we can immediately recognize that these are the differential of the logarithmic functions of y over x or x over y. Another standard form could be uh, this x dy minus y dx 
uh, again we have this common term there x dy minus y dx, but here we have x square plus y square now. So, if we have the possibility to rewrite our equations in this form, then we know that this is nothing but the differential of the tan inverse y over x or tan inverse uh, x over y. So, we have then y dx minus x dy over this y square plus x square. So, this is the standard differential of this uh, uh, this standard function tan inverse x over y and uh, the another one which we have discussed here the logarithmic x y. So, if we uh, have this plus term like we had there y d x plus x uh, d y and but uh, by dividing uh, this number uh, this expression x y we get this uh, uh, differential of the logarithmic of x y. So, these are the few uh, some uh, standard differentials, but there uh, can be many more uh, if we can recognize this uh, these standard differentials it is very useful for solving the the equations which are not exact, but can be made exact by multiplying uh, or dividing uh, by some functions. So, that we can see those standard forms and then we can write down the differential. So, we will just go through uh, at least one example where we can we have such a possibility to to recognize uh, those standard differentials. So, again we can check that this is not an exact differential equation because del m over del y is not equal to del n over del x. So, what is del m over del y here? So, here we have m and this is n m d x n d y. So, del m over del y uh, will be this is y q plus y. So, 3 uh, y square and plus 1 that will be the derivative of this uh, m with respect to y and derivative of n with respect to x will be y square minus 1. So, they are not equal of course. So, this equation given in this form uh, is not an exact differential equation. So, this approach with by inspection we will do now. So, here we have y uh, square here also we have y square term y square uh, with this d x here also y square with the d y. So, if we take y square common out of these uh, two terms. So, what we will get y d x x d y that is the known term which we have seen before as y d x plus uh, x d y and then the rest will be here y d x and minus x d y that term also we have uh, seen before. So, rewriting this equation first in this form taking this y square common from these two terms we get y d x and we also get here x d y and then plus this y times this d x and minus this x times minus this x times uh, d y that is equal to 0. And now, this dividing uh, this equation by this y square. So, if we divide this equation by y square, because all those standard expressions we have seen that there was uh, something in the division. So, if we divide this y square, this is a very standard form here y dx x dy and this y dx minus x dy divided by y square. And just to recall from the previous slide, we have uh, that the differential of this x y is y dx plus x dy and the differential of x over y is y d x minus x uh, d y over y square. So, we can use these two differentials, but we should have in mind that this is the differential of the x y and this is the differential of x over y. Once we know this, so we can just rewrite as the differential of x y plus the differential of x over y meaning that we have uh, the differential of this uh, x y plus this x over y is equal to 0. So, we have this function f whose differential is now the given uh, differential equation. So, though the equation was not exact, but by just dividing by this y square that equation becomes exact and uh, whose differential we know now that this is a differential of x y plus x over y the differential of this is, is uh, the given uh, modified equation after this division. So, with this now we can now write down the solution as well, because we have the function f directly here. So, f is equal to constant will be the will be the solution. So, here x y plus x over y that is our f now whose differential is this one and is equal to some constant 
So, this is the solution of the differential equation again we can multiply by y to see this form here x y square plus x and c y. Uh, so, this is the differential this is the solution of the given differential equation. <coughs> slightly more general approach we will discuss because here by inspection it is not always easy to to see the, the those standard differentials in the equation after multiplying or dividing by some functions. So, here we have a more or rather systematic approach which we can follow to get the uh, integrating factors. So, the idea here is to multiply the given differential equation which is not exact. So, this is uh, suppose it is not an exact differential equation, but uh, if we multiply by this function i x y which we call as the integrating factor and then try to choose this i x. So, that this function is this equation here after multiplying the given differential equation by this i this becomes exact yeah that is the idea of the integrating factor that we are looking for such a function here i x y when we multiply this i x y to this given differential equation this should become uh, exact differential equation. So, this is the point where we will now proceed that suppose that uh, I, I mean we know that uh, the if and only if condition or the sufficient necessary condition this equation to be exact now would be that del of this function with respect to y must be equal to uh, partial derivative of this with respect to x. So, we know that now this equation is exact if this del i m over del y is equal to del i n over del x that is a necessary and sufficient condition for the exactness of, of a differential equation. So, here if this is exact then this condition must hold and out of this condition we will try to derive uh, some uh, in some special cases this i here which we need uh, as this multiplier or the integrating factor. So, if a function i satisfying this equation del over del y i m is equal to del over del x of i n uh, can be found then the given equation will be exact. The problem here is that solving this equation because this is uh, not an ordinary equation this is a partial differential equation we have the partial uh, derivatives in this equation. So, this is a partial differential equation which is not very easy to solve to get uh, this i out of this uh, equation. So, we will have to consider some special cases where we can solve uh, such equation. So, we will consider here at least two of them and there could be many more uh, special cases can be derived from, from this partial differential equations. Uh, so, that we can get this uh, unknown here i. So, these are the special cases uh, an integrating factor i that is either a function of x alone or a function of y alone that is our first assumption that we are looking for integrating factor which is a function of x alone or it is a function of y alone. So, these two special cases we will consider here to get the solution of this uh, differential equation or this partial differential equation here. So, in the case 1 when we assume that this is a function of x alone then this p d e the condition here can be reduced because we have assumed that uh, this function here i is a function of x alone. So, here this partial derivative with respect to y of this i m i we can take out because uh, this is i is a function of x alone. So, we have some simplification at least we have i the partial derivative of m with respect to y that is a uh, short notation for that is equal to here this derivative we have to because i is a function of x. So, we have to use the product rule. So, it is i x with this n and i uh, with this n x. So, here the product rule the right hand side. So, we have this rather uh, simplified form of the given differential equation which uh, tells us that i x is nothing but i m y minus i n x and divided by this n. But again the purpose is not solved because this the, uh, here d i over d x i is a function of x alone. So, this is the, the derivative here d i over d x. Uh, the right hand side 
if this is not a function of x then we cannot solve because we will get this inconsistency here the left hand side because we have assumed that i is a function of x alone. So, here this is nothing but the, the ordinary derivative here d i over d x and this is a function of x. So, the right hand side should be the function of x at least to proceed from here uh, to solve this uh, uh, differential equation uh, for i. Yeah, so, this is a differential equation the ordinary differential equation for i. So, if this one here is a function of x again. So, another assumption that if this is a function of x alone then th we can solve perhaps this ordinary differential equation to get uh, this i the integrating factor. So, our next assumption would be that this m y minus this uh, n x over n because i is anyway a function of x. So, if this one is a function of x only. So, again uh, further assumption here which we take uh, to get this i as a function of x alone. So, here if this is a function that is the main condition because it depends on this m and n and the divided by n. So, if this is a function of x alone then we can solve this ordinary simple differential equation if this function is not very complicated here. So, we say let us this is the function f x because uh, we assume that if this is a function of x alone then only we can proceed for solving this i x is equal to i m y minus i n x over n equation. So, if this is a function of x only then we can solve this equation d i over this i from the right hand side is equal to this f x which we have used for this function here and this d x. So, this is a simple differential equation if this f x is, is a simple function then we can get this integrating factor from here as because this is a logarithmic of i is equal to this integral of f x d x. So, this i x is equal to exponential uh, of this uh, uh, f x d x. So, that will be the integrating factor. So, what is the condition? We have to check this m y minus n x over n if this is a function of x alone then we uh, can write down that this will be the integrating factor e power integral f x d x because as per the construction we have seen through the necessary and sufficient condition that this i will uh, now uh, if you multiply the given differential equation by this i x in this case when this is a function of, of uh, x only then this will be uh, serving as the uh, integrating factor. Now, the other case also we can deal which we have just uh, uh, stated before in the case 2 when we assume that uh, this i the integrating factor is a is a function of y alone in that case uh, again such a differential equation will be formed and we will get again for the consistency of this differential equation this condition that 1 over m n x minus m y is a function of y alone. Yeah? So, here now if it is a function of y alone this one and we say let us see this is g y then we can solve this differential equation again this uh, ordinary dif such ordinary differential equation and we can get uh, as this i y is equal to e power g y d y as the integrating factor. So, we got these two simplified cases there as I said there can be many more uh, cases where we can solve this differential equation this uh, condition necessary and sufficient condition to get this i. But we have considered at least these two special cases the first one was when this m y minus n x over n is a function of x alone the second condition we have taken here when this 1 over m n x minus m y is a function of y alone. So, in that case this is the integrating factor in the other case this was the integrating factor. So, with this we will now go through some of the examples uh, let us consider this first one x square plus y square plus x dx and plus this x y dy is equal to 0. So, we have m here we have n m is x square plus y square plus x and n is x y. So, uh, we can check uh, that this equation is not exact as uh, this del m over del y here is 2 y and del n over del x is just uh, uh, again here y del n over del x is just y. So, naturally these two are not equal, but what we observe in this case 
uh, these are the, the from the previous uh, discussion which we have derived those conditions what do we see that 1 over n of this del m over del y minus this del n over del x that expression there when we divide by this n what are we getting the n was 1 over x y and here we have this 2 y and this minus y. So, this is y here and this y y get cancelled and we have uh, 1 over x. So, this here is a function of x alone that is 1 over x and that was the one of the conditions we have just studied that if this is a function of x alone we can easily integrate it. So, the integrating factor is e power 1 over x uh, dx which is ln x and e power ln x will give us x only. So, this is the integrating factor of this uh, differential equation meaning if we multiply by this x to this differential equation the equation will become uh, exact. That means, this is the exact differential equation which we can also verify. So, del m over del y here will be 2 x y and here del n over del x will be also 2 x y. So, this equation is now exact and we know how to solve the exact equation. So, we will not go through all the uh, solution process, but uh, it was explained already in the previous lecture. So, we will now find uh, f whose differential is uh, given here. So, this is an exact differential equation and the solution after the, the process we follow for getting uh, such a f whose differential is this we can get uh, this as the solution of this given differential equation. Another example we take uh, with, with this m and this n here. So, m is given by this n is given by this and again we can verify that del m over del y is coming to be this complicated expression here. Also the del n over del x uh, is coming here of out of this n uh, this complicated expression again. But if we take this difference then n over del x uh, minus del m over del y naturally it is not 0 otherwise the equation will be uh, exact. So, here when we take this difference we do see this uh, little simple simpler version here when we take this minus 4 as common we will get this one which again uh, by taking this y from here. So, minus 4 over y and because we do see that this is matching precisely with this m here 2 x y q plus y when we just multiply by y and divide by y. So, what are we getting here minus 4 over y and this is uh, m sitting there. So, minus 4 over y m. So, this one when we divide by m is a function of y alone. So, that was exactly the second case where we have seen that this uh, n x minus this m uh, partial derivative with respect to y uh, divided by m if it is a function of y alone then we can find the integrating factor easily and the integrating factor will be exponential of this minus 4 over y uh, with this dy that is the integrating factor which comes to be this y power minus 4. So, the conclusion here again that if you multiply this divide by this equation by y power 4 or multiply by y power minus 4 this equation then this equation will become exact uh, differential equation and then we can uh, follow the approach to solve this uh, differential equation uh, to find uh, f uh, whose differential is exactly there after this multiplication. So, uh, one can solve this and the solution will be coming this x square e power y plus x square by y plus x over y cube is equal to some constant. So, here again uh, that approach which we have discussed which was a rather general approach at least uh, by the derivation, but we have considered only few simple cases where we can uh, get this uh, uh, integrating factor y. There are some more uh, findings from that uh, that those uh, that condition where we can find the integrating factor. So, we are not going into the details of finding them, but for instance uh, this is one of the possibilities that if this equation is homogeneous and this m x plus n y is not equal to 0 then this comes to be an integrating factor. So, again directly one can find out this i x y as 1 over m x plus n y this will be the integrating factor of this differential equation 
but here the condition is this should be homogeneous uh, differential equation and we already know how to solve the homogeneous differential equation. So, we may not follow exactly this approach here finding this integrating factor and then uh, solving the equ exact equation. Another possibility here is m d x plus n d y equal to 0 is of this form. If this equation is given of this form means the some function x y and y d x another function x d y then this 1 over m x minus n y if this term is not equal to 0 will be an integrating factor and if we multiply this to this equation, this equation will become exact. So, there are many more uh, such rules can be derived from there, but what we have discussed uh, a very general approach and from there also we have uh, at least seen how to how to uh, how to get uh, the integrating factor in those special cases. So, coming to the conclusion, uh, the integrating factor is nothing but a function here uh, if we multiply to the given differential equation which is not exact, but after multiplication the equation becomes exact we call such a function as uh, the integrating factor. And uh, we have seen this special case when m y the partial derivative of m with respect to y partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, this difference divided by this n is a function of x alone then we have derived that this i x is equal to e power this integral f x d x will be the integrating factor. And this is a function of y alone uh, say this g y then this will be uh, the integrating factor i y is equal to exponential integral g y d y. These are the references used here and thank you for your attention.